Twist Tales was a game I heard about not too long ago. One thing led to another, and I found myself watching Cinderella's future husband disappear in front of her eyes. <laughs> Neat. So, let me give you my thoughts on the Twist Tales demo. Twist Tales is an action platformer being created by Cat on Tree Studio. You get your platforming challenges here and there, but combat is also the focus. You press a button to attack, dodge, select, and activate your spells too. Your mana comes back the more you hit things, but comes back faster if you don't get hit while doing it. If you dodge an attack at the correct time, you can do a counter attack. The Twist Tales demo is an early build, so I won't go too hard on it. But I can certainly talk about what I like so far, and that's the aesthetic. The storybook styles of the cutscenes are cool, and it reminds me of the way Pumpkin Jack did things with their cutscenes. While it's not a new concept to visually show a story in this manner, the developers 100% have their own style with it. Not to mention they transfer the style to 3D quite nicely. Some of the areas might look a little bit too dark, but what's here right now is pretty solid, and I can't wait to see what it would look like polished. On the other hand, we have the gameplay, which is still cooking. The gameplay seems to be split between platforming and combat. So let's talk about the platforming first. For what's here so far, it's good. I believe you have a good idea of what's a decent challenge for the player. Time challenges are a good idea. Getting from point A to point B as quickly as possible, along with a well-constructed obstacle course. I will assume you have other ideas on ways to make stuff like this harder, such as making us fight our way through to get to point B. And hey, you'll likely come up with something more creative than I. Then I want to make a suggestion to you. Minimize the cheese. That's some good looking cheese. I know, right? Some gamers are really good at finding shortcuts to skip or make challenges easier. And yes, I'm one of them. I only say minimize because it can be fun to skip or make a challenge easy in an unintended way, but to make it trivial can make it sad. Let there be a risk to doing something like that. That might take you some testing in-house or even with other players. Might be a bit challenging, but I'm sure you can do it. That's if you go down that path. There's also the option of just making sure that any challenge cannot be cheesed. And you know, I can say that for both platforming and combat as well. Speaking of which, upon doing the counterattack, I had a feeling that it was gonna be on the strong side. And sure enough, on the second playthrough, yeah, it definitely was. During the counterattack, you are invincible and you'll do a lot of damage. I could only think of two ways to nerf this move, making it do less damage or adding a cooldown to it. Maybe you could go with a lather, but there also might be a more imaginative option to go with. The spells you get in the game are pretty sick. My favorite spells would be the hat trick and the pull. The bow is functional, and I used it a decent amount, but the greatsword, candy cane, and shotgun, I could only think, eh, rather not. The greatsword and candy cane animations could be a little bit smoother and a little bit faster. However, part of me feels like they could just be combined. A single 360 spin with an overhead smash at the end. And of course using the candy cane model because we're already using a sword. A way to spice up all of these spells would be adding utility of some sort, such as adding a status effect, a self buff, or adding a physical barrier. If something like that was done, you would have to make sure the enemies would be able to handle it and not be pushovers. Oh, and I wanted to say, the transcendence mode is pretty awesome. That's all I wanted to say with that one. You know, if there was one thing I could add to Twist Tales myself, it would be counterattack magic. In the same way you can do a counterattack, you can use magic instead. The idea came to me from trying the shotgun and wanting to use it more, as it was the least used spell out of the whole kit for me. But you know, it could be extended to all of the spells. The normal counter can be weaker, giving you more of a reason to use the spells to counter with. And it could be a good way to add utility to those attacks as well. Oh, and then also there were two major bugs that I came across, and one of them made everything else slow except me. 
I'm not sure how this occurred, but I'm guessing it's because I used the counterattack in a specific way. I guess adding a bullet time could be pretty cool if you do it intentionally. So I guess that's an idea. The other bug, well, it blinded me, but it was funny. So I guess I could forgive it for now. So those were my thoughts on the Twist Tales demo. To the devs, you don't have to use any of the ideas that I talked about in this video, if they don't fit your game or if you just don't feel like it. You take the game in the direction you want to. I'm just some dude on the internet with a voice. I want to see Twist Tales come to life. And to the rest of you, support Cat on Tree Studio any way you can. Anyway, that's it from me. Rendezvous dans le prochain episode. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on awesome indie games.